Authorities are searching for the motive behind a Christmas Day tragedy in Texas. Four women and three men were found shot to death in their home, apparently after opening their Christmas gifts. Reporter Ben Russell of our NBC affiliate KXAS-TV joins us live now from the scene in Fort Worth suburb of Grapevine, Texas. And Ben here, any idea in terms of motive? I know it's early. Uh, it's still early in this investigation, obviously, though this did play out some almost 24 hours ago. No, there is no known motive, at least as one that police are telling us about. There is also no outward sign of the horrible tragedy that unplayed right through this sliding glass and door uh, frame here of this apartment complex in Grapevine. Again, you described as a suburb of Fort Worth and Dallas uh, here in greater North Texas. Uh, here is what we do know at this point. No one heard any of the gunshots that were fired inside of this home. Someone from inside of the home called 911 around 1130 yesterday morning, but that person did not speak into the phone. An operator then sent police, Grapevine, Texas police, here to this scene to go and investigate, and they found the scene that we've been talking about now. We also have information that the suspected shooter in this case, a middle-aged man, may have been dressed as Santa Claus, though Grapevine police have not confirmed that information for us at this point this morning. The seven victims are all reportedly related. Again, four women and three men between the ages of 15 and 58 years old. They were all found inside of this apartment, though we're told not all of them lived here at this apartment. Their bodies were found in what was otherwise the evidence of a normal Christmas morning. There were Christmas presents that had been unwrapped and there was paper strewn about the room. Police did also find two handguns on the floor of the apartment in the living room, again, which is just behind this apartment behind me here. Uh, again, the big question obviously is the motive in this case. Perhaps it may never be known. We do expect to learn inf more information mm -hmm. from Great Bond Police later this morning, but obviously no doubt a very right. sad situation in this town on Christmas morning, which calls itself the Christmas capital of Texas. Richard. Ben, this is horrific. Uh, what have the neighbors said? What is that small part of the town you're talking about like? And, and what do we know about the gunman? Was he among the dead there? He is had been found among the dead. That is what Grapevine police told us yesterday evening. He is to believe to be the suspected shooter. He may have killed the other six and then turned a gun on himself. As far as what neighbors are saying, I mean, I can show you a bit here, Richard. This is a uh, sort of tight-knit, uh, very packed-together apartment complex. Mm. We have spoken to several neighbors who are waking up this day after Christmas morning. They're all asking us what happened. They're speaking about a tragedy, something like this. Uh, they would not otherwise expect. On the other side of this apartment complex, there is a brown fence and beyond that is a high school here, Colleyville Heritage High School, which is noted to be one of the best high schools in the entire North Texas mm. region. People move here because this is a safe community, uh, and they're saying, obviously, they have to question that given what happened yesterday. All right. KXAS reporter Ben Russell with the very latest on that. We'll continue to follow that for you. Thank you, Ben.